A brand isn't just a product, and a campaign isn't just an ad. A great campaign, like a great brand, is an idea. It's a little nugget of truth that speaks right to the heart of the issue, tying the most aspirational goals of a brand to something important and aspirational in the heart of their customers. And maybe that sounds like ad speak, but it works. It's storytelling, wrapping something complicated and important into a digestible package for a wide audience. Can it be used for evil? Sure. But if your message is authentic and important, it can be an enormously powerful tool for good. We can all benefit from understanding how to make a better campaign, how to tap into those exceptional ideas. And the best way to be better is to study the best. So let's dive in. To really get the genius of Dove's Real Beauty campaign, we need to appreciate the context it first existed in. It's easy to forget that a couple years ago, beauty companies sold perfection almost exclusively. And Real Beauty was a response to that, and it changed the industry. It's a perfect example of a campaign that taps into something that wasn't already being discussed. It's real, real insight. What Dove noticed is that the way beauty was presented was excluding a whole segment of their audience, a whole segment of society, and made people feel worse, not better about themselves. A brand that could tap into that feeling of discontent of alienation could create a sense of love of, of wonder of, of appreciation in their audience the most famous iterations of the real beauty campaign feature women describing themselves in not necessarily flattering terms and an artist showing that what they saw as flaws could really be beautiful Nike is far from a perfect company. There's plenty of valid criticism about their business model, what they represent, but you can't deny their brand. Just Do It is brilliant. Just Do It was the beginning of Nike embracing that connection to athletic achievement, aspiration, and conquering adversity. And the campaign itself was always simple. Powerful images of great athletic heroes in powerful positions, huge moments with a simple line. And it's no small thing that the line itself is simple and catchy. It fits in a real conversation. It's something that people would actually say. And that power of something that becomes almost viral is huge, right? I mean, no one says Walmart, live better, live cheaper, or whatever their slogan is. People say, just do it. Even if they're joking, they say it. And in the end, you can see the success of just do it in the pure numbers. Before it launched in 1988, Nike had 18% of the North American domestic sport shoe business. By the end of 1998, it was up to 43%. It was an increase of almost $9 billion in sales. And it changed Nike's place forever. Smoking kills you. The way you die from smoking is horrifying. And yet, the Marvel Man was cool, is cool, rugged, masculine, something to aspire to. And in the ads created for years, Marlboro made their name synonymous with masculinity. They didn't sell cigarettes, they sold the lifestyle, they sold adventure, they sold daring, they sold bravado, and it worked. And here we obviously see that not all campaigns have positive effects. Spreading smoking is borderline evil. But that doesn't mean we can't learn from it. The genesis of the campaign is borderline genius. By the middle of the 20th century, the average American was a pretty far ways away from the wild west of lore. And yet Marvel sold a way to connect yourself to the dream of a untamed wild west. Smoking, and specifically smoking Marlboros, was now a way to show that you were tough. And sales showed it worked. They spiked from five billion in 1955 to 20 billion in 1957, according to Ad Age. To this day, if you picture a young writer typing away at a screenplay at a Starbucks, or a graphic designer at a well-known advertising agency. 
you're probably picturing them typing on a Mac. And the genesis of that connection started with Think Different. Again, the line itself is catchy, designed to mimic actual conversation. It, as opposed to Think Differently, which was the original proposed line, it actually seems like something you would say. And like Just Do It, it's an aspirational campaign. Apple, like Nike, is not a perfect company, but the idea is that that is what they are at their best, a creative outlet, a place that inspires creativity, inspires us to be more. And as Steve Jobs himself admitted, it's not just a campaign that's designed to speak to the customer, it's a call to arms for people who work at Apple, a reminder to Apple of who they are, what they aspire to be. And there's something in that as we look to understand what makes a great campaign. It's not about selling a product, it's about understanding and communicating who you are.